The Sheldon Theater is no stranger to the concept of ashes and rising from them. After all, it's burned in fires twice. But that's not why its resident community theater company adopted the Phoenix Theater as its moniker. So what did inspire the name then? Join us behind the curtain as we dive into everything that's made Phoenix Theater the community treasure we enjoy today. First, let's set the stage. It's 1993, and the Friends of the T.B. Sheldon Memorial Auditorium is in its eighth year. They've already built a long tradition of community theater with their production committee. But it's time to revive community theater in a more... Um... Dramatic manner. The production committee reorganizes as none other than the Phoenix Theater. At the helm are Marilyn Albrecht, Verna Fricke, Maribes Geppinger, Kurt Gruhl, Greg Nixon, Sean McClowski, and Avis Walter. The Phoenix name was a suggestion from Sean Douse, not because of the aforementioned fires, but because of the group's earnest desire to truly resurrect community theater in Red Wing. By fall of 93, Phoenix Theater would be staging their first full-fledged production, but there was something else they wanted to do first, issue a lower stakes invitation to anyone who might be interested in joining them. In May 1993, and then July, Phoenix Theater hosted two events they called Reading on Stage, which welcomed community members to participate, or just listen in to readings of a play, a no-pressure way to get on stage. By October, though, it was time for Phoenix Theater to truly enter the limelight, and the comedy, You Can't Take It With You, took the stage at the Sheldon, directed and produced by two members of the original steering committee, Greg Nixon and Sean McClowski. A lesser known fact? The performance wasn't just Phoenix Theater's first production. It was also the first performance to make use of the Sheldon Theater's trap door, which hadn't been used since the restoration was completed in 1988. Phoenix Theater would next return to the stage the following summer with South Pacific and Holiday Memories the following November. Since then, Phoenix has staged over 70 productions, most often two or three times per year. In 2004 and 2015, the company really outdid itself, pulling together an impressive five performances in each of those years. The sole year lacking in a stage performance occurred in 2020. Not for a lack of want or effort, but out of interest for public health and safety during the COVID-19 pandemic. Every single other year of their 30 plus year experience, Phoenix has fulfilled their mission of providing community members a chance to get on stage and a chance for their fellow community members to see them there. Of course, Phoenix Theater has been involved in much more than the shows listed on their roster of productions. For example, in the 90s, they brought vaudeville to Red Wing for a few years with the all-new Red Wing Review. And in April 1995, the Minnesota Association of Community Theater's MACTFest came to the Sheldon. There, Phoenix Theater performed among a dozen Minnesota community theater groups, having the distinct privilege to be able to perform twice after one group needed to withdraw. The next decade brought the Red Wing Invitational One-Act Play Festival, a collaboration between Phoenix Theater, Red Wing High School, and Shattuck St. Mary's School of Fairbolt. While their involvement in festivals has since ebbed, Phoenix Theater's regular performances at the Sheldon, the mainstay of the troupe, has gone on. Casts and board members have certainly, and as might be expected, changed through the years. But the same tight-knit feeling present in the founding of Phoenix Theater continues to persist. Those who have gone above and beyond for the organization has been awarded the annual Phoenix Star Award, established in 2001. The standing invitation for community members remains open to, and always will. It's an invitation many in and around Red Wing have taken advantage of. Since 1993, over 1,000 performers, directors, designers, and collaborators across all ages and skill levels have found a home on stage, or backstage as the case may be, with the Phoenix Theater. With each performance, the cast and crew can feel proud to take a bow, but for the Phoenix Theater, a final bow doesn't even merit consideration. Not because one wouldn't be well-earned should that day come, but because they have no intention of letting community theaters slip away from Red Wing ever again. And for that, they deserve a standing ovation. <laughs>